What have you been up to? Um, well, school started up for me, so I've been doing that. Can I talk about that? Is that good? Uh, I guess so. I don't give a shit. School started. I'm stressed. Yay! All right. Well, the uh, World Series playoffs have started, so I'm stressed too. Oh well, yeah, that's that's about the the jizz of it. <laughs> so we went to Yosemite. If you <laughs> we did go to Yosemite on Instagram or Twitter. Any of those accounts we posted um, some pictures. We haven't been. Um, Keeping up with the videos lately. We took a we, we took a break. We took a sabbatical. I like to call it. That sounds I very like that. fancy. A lot yeah. better than we took a break. You know the the stress of um, performing was just mm-hmm. like, we needed to take. Um, yeah, I, I put Legos ourselves. up, Lego videos up for just a little tease. Yeah. Episode three is coming up this week, which will probably be what four what weeks. What will it be? Yeah, well, for now, four weeks from now. Because we, we have an episode that you probably already saw, but hasn't been uploaded yet. Yeah, it's and been like four weeks. Yeah. Four weeks? Because it was the first week of football. It, no, it was the second week. Second week. And second it's week, week, of week six going into tomorrow. So, yeah. so was, we're a little behind on the uploads. But the thing is, is we don't have any fans to get upset <laughs> with us. Yeah. <laughs> so nobody cares. Yep. I figure if we're going to, you know, if we do ever get successful... But, you know, if we do, it, we might as well do this shit now when nobody cares than yeah, true. later down the road when we got people on Twitter yelling at us. Or <laughs> I can't wait. Mm-hmm. Me neither. You know, it'll be so much fun. Yeah. Any press is good press. Um, what about, like, if somebody presses your head against the concrete really, really hard and crushes it? That's probably not a good press. A head press. Besides baseball, what have you been up to? Uh, well, football's been going on. Ugh. Ugh. I hate football. I know. Judging by your picks from last week. <laughs> <laughs> no. None of your Italian teams won. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I've been watching football, and, um, I, I worked on a movie. You did work on a movie. Yeah. That's about it. That's all I did. I got five salt and pepper shakers and three soy sauces mm-hmm. to prove I, it. I uh, set trust a, a restaurant, so you got you got a lot of Asian uh, decorations. I know. I got some yeah. tapestries and stuff. Tapestry. 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 Is that Indiana Jones? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Last Crusade. <laughs> I want to see your tapestry. Or was he doing a French accent? I don't remember. Scottish. Because that's what it was. Because yeah, the guy said, "If you're a Scottish lord, then I am Mickey Mouse." That's like his comeback yeah. and then punches him in the face. The only like, you know, minor line that for whatever reason sticks in my head. Like there's a few, like Fargo, I have a few just like oh my gosh, weird random <laughs> little lines that like don't really have. Goodfellas. So many Goodfellas. lines from Goodfellas. But uh, from that movie, it's, uh, I should have shipped it to the Marx Brothers. <laughs> I don't know why that sticks into my head. <laughs> Sean Connery sounding Sean Connery statement. I guess ever. so. I guess that's kind of you know celebrity jeopardy. Yeah. Yeah. Shock it to rock. <laughs> also, when I was a kid, like when I was really young, I didn't know who the Marx Brothers was, so I was just mm. like, I don't get that. But now that I'm a huge Marx Brothers fan and actually know who that is, it's just it makes it that much more funny. Yeah. More. Funny I I, funny. I just didn't even get it. I, I had no clue what who the Marx Brothers were. <laughs> They're wonderful. They're better than the I think I've, What? Yeah. No. Yes, I, I, okay. Sorry. I know I'm sorry, is- I'm sorry. I can't do it. I, I grew up watching the Stooges. I love the Stooges. I grew up watching the Marx Brothers. I never, I only, I watched the Marx Brothers when I was an adult. I never watched them when I was a kid, so. I think it might, that, I might, that might have, have been the changing, deciding factor. I might have the unpopular opinion here, but. No, I think. I think Marx I, Brothers is just, it's clever. Marx, Marx Bro- Brothers is definitely more highbrow. I, I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm not saying either of them are bad. I guess it's kind of hard to compare. It's just three dudes and three dudes in black and white yeah. comedies. All brothers. Yeah, all brothers. Yeah. But, I mean... All kind of had fucked up real well, lives. Well, the, if you think about it, Marx Brothers only did, like, full-length movies. Uh, Stooges could never do a full-length movie because you get sick of it. They, that's why they only existed in shorts. Some, I thought they had a movie. Well, the, like, latest one. But Oh, the... Remake kind yeah, of it was like a reboot, but like I think it was even divided into like three shorts because it doesn't work like a long form story. Because people get annoyed. Yeah, I, I like how the Stooges just, just kind of transcend time. And, like <laughs> they just pop up. Oh, they're medieval now. Oh, and they're the same character. <laughs> the Marx Brothers.
brothers pretty much play the same characters. They all have their character type. Yeah. But Stooges is more like, I'm going to hit you in the head with a hammer. Yeah, do that. It's more like cartoon, thing goofy. And, yeah. yeah. Improv to uh, Stooges versus uh, Mars what, Brothers. What else have we been up to? <laughs> oh, you know what we could talk about? That happened um, around the time of our last video. Oh, no. That why? I kind of wanted to bring up. Remember that? That guy that hijacked our conversation? Oh, no. I don't want to talk about it. In the grocery store? Fuck that guy. I hated that guy. <laughs> We were okay, so we're walking in the grocery store, minding our own damn business. Mm-hmm. I was making a joke or something to Nick. I forgot what it was. I don't even it's know. Something stupid. And somehow, like this guy took my joke t- as an opportunity to butt into our conversation mm-hmm. and then hold us conversation hostage for oh my God. an hour and a half. In a grocery store, why would you yeah. chat with a stranger in a grocery store he for an hour and a half? Apparently. Yeah. And what what he um he oh had my God two he, PhDs. He's he's one of those guys that you ever run into those people. That just think they, they've done everything. Yeah. And you can't it's think probably of bullshit. <laughs> this guy was a stand up comic, mm-hmm. police officer, shelf stalker. Yeah. Um, what else? Oh gosh. Uh, he had two master's yeah. degrees and a bachelor in psychology. And he. <laughs> Oh my god. And the list went on. I can't remember all of them. It was an hour and a half. Oh, and then he was talking about his family and his um you know, his mom was messed we, up. We we pretty just... much got a comedy special out of him. Yeah. Just him like ranting to us about like and we're just like, I don't give a shit. It was really weird. <laughs> and yeah. we're too polite of mm-hmm. people to just kind of be like, Okay, we have to leave now because he didn't give us an opportunity to say goodbye. And it was a non stop yeah. stream. God, it was awful. I forgot about him. I pleasantly repressed that memory. No, and then like, like he, so he was dating a, a, a woman that was a, a big, tall black lady. By the way, this guy was not PC. He dropped an oh, N bomb, no. an F bomb, and yep. I don't mean fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, he dropped a C bomb. He was just saying anything. And I know. And then he he this um he. Tell us a story about he was like working at a grocery store because apparently he works at all the grocery stores around us. In Pasadena. Oh my god. And like. He, he discussed his entire work. Like, yeah. Remember the story he told us where it was like he ran into a bunch of rich girls that thought he was gay, which the dude painted his nails, so I thought he was gay too. So well, like. You can paint your nails and not be gay. I, but no, I, I understand. I see what you're saying. But like, but it, like his story, it's like you're just sitting, it was like. And then they came up to me and they're like, you're definitely gay, aren't you? And I'm like, no, I'm not. See that tall woman over there? That's my wife. And then they didn't <laughs> that was your wife. They're like, no way that's your wife. And you're not a cop. So I showed him my badge. <laughs> and remember when he told them the story how, like, in the story he showed them his badge? Why didn't he show us his badge if he just keeps it on him at all times? he's not a police officer anymore. <laughs> he know. decided oh, to be a grocery what? store stalker. And then he even got into his religion with us. Oh, yeah. He discussed his religion. Oh, he discussed his uh, family dynamics with his kids. Um, and his dad. And his, oh, yeah. His like, dad he, he like... reconnected with his dad after 30 years. Yeah. We should have got him. We should get him on the podcast. That would be great. No, it would be too long. <laughs> if be... you guys want, like, two hours of crazy stock, uh, shelf stalker ramblings. It's just so odd. Yeah. Um. I would have been fine with it if it only lasted about 10, 15 minutes, but it just dragged on and on, and there was no end in sight. I don't even know how we finally got away from him. Yeah, and there was no opportunity to be like, all right, man, have a good one. Yeah. I worked in a grocery store. I would never have conversations like that, because when you go to a grocery store, you want to get in and out. You don't want to hang out. And I had frozen food in the cart, and I was just like, my my coconut shrimp is thawing. This is very frustrating. Yeah. And it wasn't or something. And like we even like needed to get something else, but we were just so awkward. We just <laughs> left the whole store. We did. I just went. I don't want to accidentally run into him again because I think he'll just start talking again. Oh god. Because he kept popping up. So we were just like, yeah, we're just gonna. We're just... So so now I, we're I just left. Needless to say, we have to go to a different grocery store because I don't want to run into him Me again. Me neither. But the problem is, he works in grocery stores around here. He he told us he worked in um, like four of the major grocery stores in our area. Yeah, I think he works for. Uh, Safeway, so yeah. like the Vons, the Pavilions, the mm-hmm. Jewel Bosco, if you're, you know, Midwest. Ralph's. Ralph's. No, that's not Pavilions. It's oh, Kroger's. Oh, sorry. 
<laughs> this is talking about grocery store <laughs> companies. Who gives a fucking shit? <laughs> um, what else interesting happened? Anything else interesting happened? Uh, well, we did go to Yosemite, but like, <laughs> oh, yeah. who cares? They, they saw the pictures. All yeah. of our beautiful pictures of the wondrous like, views. Almost killed my parents. Yeah, his parents were troopers. Uh-huh. They, they did. By the way, mom, things. I I will get my hair cut very soon. <laughs> There's a reason for his hair being long. Yes. And look at the beard it's a now. Surprise. Yeah. Well, well, the beard is, is to get people to not stop calling me a girl. <laughs> we, we, got, we, this, <laughs> we went to this really good hot dog place the other day called Dirt Dogs. Shout out to Dirt Dogs. Yeah. But um, and the lady came up and she went, "Are are the uh, what did she say? Hello, ladies. Here's your oh yeah, here, here's your food, ladies." And I looked at her and she just went. <laughs> she just looks so uncomfortable. Yeah, that, that always happens. I always got called a chick. Yeah, that's like the yeah. third or fourth time a waitress has walked up behind you in the booth and said. Ladies. I think the best was that I was working at a grocery store, Jewel Osco, in Illinois. And I was on the lot taking all the carts in, you know. And this lady walks up to me and she goes, "This isn't work for a girl to be doing." I went, "What?" And she went. Oh, and then walked away. <laughs> There's, that's wrong on two levels, okay? that I, You've told me that story before, and yeah. I just hate that story, because it's like, one, a girl could totally fucking push some carts around, mm-hmm. and two, she... Well, I mean, if there you. was another man there, she could. <laughs> totally kidding. Did you, um, I saw that, I, sometimes I go on tangents where I look at, like, old commercials, and there's this one commercial... <laughs> Huh? You, you don't do that? Like, you watch old commercials from, like, the 70s? And there's this one commercial. I'll put the link down below. But, like, it's a woman and she in the voiceover guy. And she's, like, walking around in the dark and her car's broke down. And the voiceover guy goes, what would you do if you got a flat tire and there's not a man around? <laughs> like, it literally said that. Oh, my god! It was so no. hilarious. Oh. I was just like, oh, my God. This is like an SNL bit. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. We need to find those. Yeah, now. I'll, I'll put it down below. I haven't watched any of those. Yeah. But I did recently watch the um, official movie trailer for Cats and Dogs from 2001. Yeah. Do you remember that? I do remember that. They're like little puppet animals. <laughs> what are, what are, I, I made a really mean joke <laughs> afterwards. Um, the, well, the, Mr. Tinkles is the bad cat, and he's trying to take over, like, mind control all humans. Mind and the control. dogs have to protect the humans, so there's, like, a huge super agent spy dog fight thing. Toby Maguire. Toby Maguire's in it. Yeah. yeah. We also watched Friday the 13th. Oh, yeah, on Friday, Friday the 13th. 13th. Yesterday. Yeah. So. It was my first time seeing it. And what did you think of it? Um, I really liked it. I thought it was extremely well done. Yeah. Yeah, I liked it better. When I was a kid, okay, so the order of Friday the 13th, I watched number five first. <laughs> For some reason, I decided to go, oh, five. Let's watch that one. Well, I mean, if it just happens to be on TV, I guess. No, it was, I rented, I went for five. Oh. The first uh, Jason Voorhees movie I saw was Jason X, well, so I think five is better. I didn't know that the titles were Friday the 13th, so I saw Friday the 13th, Friday the 13th Part 2, Friday the 13th Part 3, and then Friday the 13th Part 4 had the hockey mask, and I wanted to watch Jason, I knew he had the hockey mask, so I'm like, oh, he's probably in that one. But that one, it was taken, it was back in, you know, Blockbuster days where the... Oh, the Blockbuster Yeah, where the VHS was behind the, and that one had... The, pushed against so i was like all right well let me go for the next one with the hockey mask so i went with the, the fifth one so i went five and then i think i watched one and so if you know anything about spoiler alert for friday the 13th part five it's not jason it's somebody copying jason oh puts on the hockey mask but what did it suck because then you went to one and it's and it's his mom so i i was like what the fuck is with this series it makes no sense. <laughs> okay, maybe it's better I started with Jason X, because I thought mm-hmm. that one was hilarious. I can't take it, the franchise seriously yeah. after that being my first exposure. But I have seen them all, and I probably could rank them. Ooh, I haven't seen them all. We should totally do that. You want to do that next episode? Yeah, let's do the next We'll watch, Whoa. like, two, two, two and... Dude, next week's going to be terrible if we're just going to keep watching. Okay. What? Gonna... Why? What's wrong? Because we got to watch how many of them before next There's... Saturday? You watch two a night. A lot of okay. Well, okay. Well, Jason X is ten, and then there's Freddy versus Jason, and then there. So there's twelve, twelve movies. <laughs> so we had to, we would have to watch two a night. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot. 
Well, I've already seen them, so you can watch them on your own time and come back okay. to Okay. Watch them during work. <laughs> yeah. That was um, a really off tangent. Well, we don't really have a topic to start the show. It's kind of yeah. just our ramblings. But, Which apparently um, is the one thing people tell us not to do, but we But you know how what? To not do that. You know what? Uh, other other videos have points to them and uh, well thought out arguments. We're just rambling, so yeah. that it, that's why we're different and why we don't have any we're views. We're different. We're different. Yeah. All right. Well, we did make a bet last video. That they never saw, so it doesn't exist. Well, it's going to go up before this, so they probably did see it. So there is a punishment coming up, and we have a little new surprise to the show. Just to recap from the other episode, our bet was for week two of football, we picked our pigskin pick em picks. Is that what they're called? I don't know. You could just say we... we... We made picks. Oh, for... people know what? Okay. People, we you, made picks. You don't have to say the pig skin pick em. The pig skin, is it pig skin pick em? Yeah, it's pig I actually skin said it pick right. Em. Cool. Mm-hmm. Um, so we the picked The only our fantasy picks. football I would ever do. Because I don't like, I don't like the player one. I, I don't know anything about any of them. So fantasy football is like, oh, I'll oh, take I the. I don't care. I'll take the quarterback from they the Browns know. and the running back from the Steelers and a wide receiver from the. So and so, and we'll see how they play. I like I like the teams. I don't like just the individuals. I don't care what the what one player on one team is doing. Can I just recap what happened in last episode so that we can uh, get this over with? Sure. We picked our teams, and whoever and when we made the bet that whoever's had the least amount of points in the end would have to eat a handful of bean boozle jelly beans, which from another episode we discovered were disgusting. Which I, I've revised. I, I think that um, we, we did the bean boozled. And so we don't have to do that again? No, so you I'm don't, fine? You're, you're not going to do the bean boozled. Unless, unless you don't like my other idea for a punishment. What's your other idea? Okay. So instead of the bean boozled, we have this wheel here. And I have, uh, I, I've been watching our competition, as I like to see it. By our competition, I mean uh, Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> Please are more genuine when we laugh. Huh? What? Huh? <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> I actually like Jimmy Fallon. I don't know why I have to be mean to him. <laughs> oh, I'm yeah. Sorry. Ouch. I like so, your um, but uh, ever see his uh, Wheel of Celebrity Impressions? Yeah. Well, I have a few problems with like it, this. and I'm totally ripping ripping him off right now. But okay. his is stupid. You know why his is stupid? Why is his stupid? Because he always has like Kevin Spacey or I don't fucking know somebody that can do <laughs> impressions. That's not funny. I like to see people that can't do impressions forced to do impressions. So when we come back, I have a few ideas for this wheel of impressions that I stole from Jimmy Fallon for you who cannot do impressions, which will be way better than his dumb bit. Sounds good. Yeah. Minutes. Huh? What? It took 90 minutes? It took 9 minutes. 9 minutes, that's fine. Okay. You're well, going to have to read these off to me. 
Okay. I got them all written down. Okay. Wait, can I just eat the jelly beans? Because some of these don't look fun. Well, yeah, you can choose to eat a jelly bean over what I have do, trying to do one of these impressions. So I have to spin and then... Yeah, you're going to spin for each um, one you got, each game you got wrong. What? Yeah. No, just Nine I spins. just lost. Wait, this isn't even close to the original deal. This isn't I know, fair. but this is more fun. <sighs> okay. How many, how many points did I get? Nine. How many points did you get? I don't remember. Who cares? Well, we should subtract so it's only the difference. Okay. Five. <laughs> Wait, the difference is five? Yes, the difference is five. What'd you get? I don't know math. Thirteen? You got thirteen? Yep. And I got nine? I wasn't that far. You said you crushed me. It's fourteen. Anyway, so yeah, you're gonna get one. Well, so you want five spins. I get I get to spin it five times, and but, then I get to pick between whatever's on there and a jelly bean. Yeah, unless you get the space that says jelly bean. There's just that's not two. Okay, can you read these to me, please? Okay, well, what are they? Okay, so one is. Or do you want me just to spin? This it? one is uh, Donald Trump uh, showering. Uh, <laughs> what? Yeah, you gotta do an impression of Donald Trump showering. Okay. Uh, this you get to slap me. Oh, <gasps> okay. Let's just spin. I'm ready for this. Oh, you just want to spin? Should I? Yeah, just I'll spin, just spin. And we'll, I'll, I'll uh, decipher what it says, okay. even though because you can't really hear it, read it. I'm actually really scared right now, but I really hope I get to slap you because you are getting a fool on. Why is that even on here? I'm not complaining. Okay. What does it say? I can't read it. <laughs> What's the name on top? Hillary Clinton. Oh, you got to talk about, you got to be Hillary Clinton trying to hit on a girl. I don't even know what Hillary Clinton sounds like. Well, you better try or eat a jelly bean. And if it's not satisfying, then I'm going to make you eat a jelly bean. So, Hillary, what? Hillary. I have to do a good one, too? Yeah, well, it's got to. I hate doing impressions. All right, well, I go hate on. doing well, impressions. Well, do you like eating bean boozle jelly beans? Trying to get a toothpaste one. No, you can't look. I have to pick them out. Oh, no. no, I have to pick them out. No, that's not fair. Because five is a handful. Or bet was a handful. Wait, so I have to either do a handful or do a Hillary Clinton impression. Just do a Hillary Clinton trying to hit on a girl. Come on. Um I feel so uncomfortable. Um I want to take you home. Why did you sound like a robot? And have sex with you. <laughs> Why do you? I will. <laughs> Why do you sound like a lick robot? Lick your beef curtains. Ew. I bet Hillary Clinton would say beef curtains. <laughs> beef curtains. She would totally say beef curtains. Well, how would she say it? Do Hillary Clinton say beef curtains? <laughs> Just sounds like a woman saying beef curtains. Beef curtains. <laughs> <laughs> beef curtains. That's that's your okay. Well, well, you gotta use it in a sentence, like. What? How, Come how on, you you're just adding sense? silly loops for me to go you Do an impression. That's what I'm saying. You don't just go, beef curtains. That's not an impression. <laughs> beef curtains. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I wish you told me I had to do impressions. Yeah, but that wouldn't be funny. I, I like catching you unprepared. Okay. Pretty sure for the Jimmy Fallon bit, they tell them ahead of time what impressions they're going to be yeah, doing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So that's not fun. No. It's not I like, I'd rather blindside you. Come on, let's go. Hillary Clinton. <laughs> the woman ran for president like five times. How do you not know what she sounds like? It's been a while since I've listened to her <laughs> it's voice. It's been a while since she's run for president. <laughs> it has been. It's been a full year. Yeah, a full year. Why the fuck would I care what she has to say now? Um, okay, well, what, what have you come up with? Uh, Hillary's voice doesn't sound like anything. <laughs> so she's just, she's just... She's just so blah. Well, okay, do your blah voice. Um, uh, I think my favorite one of her is, um, on the, the radio station. The hot sauce thing? She's yeah, just that like, was funny. What do you carry in your bag? Hot sauce. Well, she didn't even pull it out. She just says, I, I just always carry hot sauce. Hot sauce is just, you know. I'm on a black, black radio carries station. It. Yeah, I'm appealing to black people. It would have made it even better if she just went, hot sauce, swag. 
Because I got hot sauce in my bag swag. I don't know what that is. It's That's what she got it from. Oh, really? right before... No, what makes it worse is right before she said that, um, Beyonce's uh, hit single... Um, what is it called? Everyone was going crazy for it. it, was, it was like, Lemonade? Uh, no, not lemonade. Well, they went crazy <laughs> for lemonade, too. But there was one where she says, I got hot sauce in my bag swag. Um... Oh, uh, it's, I think it's called Hot bu- hot Sauce in My Bags. Oh, yeah, that's what it's called. But, yeah. yeah, so after that came out, like, a week later, she was on a black radio station and just <laughs> asked her oh, what she carries in her bag. Was... Okay. Yeah, so she's went, Hot Sauce, because that song was popular and it was a black thing. Carrie, Hot Sauce. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I did an impression of her, though. Did you? Yeah, I just okay, did. Okay, whatever. Roll the camera back. I did it. <laughs> Roll the camera back. <laughs> Spit again, I guess. <laughs> I did it. Hopefully you don't land on that again. Oh, come on. <laughs> Hillary Clinton is the worst voice. <laughs> People are going to cut that to make it sound like I'm saying Hillary Clinton is the worst. <laughs> Hillary Clinton is the worst. She's a Trump supporter. <laughs> Jack Nicholson as... I can't read that. <laughs> what the fuck did you write? As Barney the Dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Will you let me so, do this? Yeah, these are questions had to do it. I was going to do exactly that yeah, go too. Ahead. I'm sorry, go ahead. I oh no, I can't do it. I can't do <laughs> impressions. On. I don't like this. I use an easy one. Just gotta talk real slow. You know? I love. You, I mean, like, he just, like... Oh, that sounds like a robot. <laughs> it does. Come here, kids. Just want to bash your fucking <laughs> friends. In. I'm not going to hurt you. <laughs> Dinner! <laughs> you terrifying, Barney. Just comes at you with an axe. Come here, kids. <laughs> Hair of the dog that bit me, Lloyd. Lloyd. That's probably my favorite Jack Nicholson line. Really? Yeah. I'm trying to think. From that, no, bash your fucking brains. Gonna just bash your fucking brains in. That, that's I'm trying to think of, line. like, his, uh, you want to watch the baseball game? That's a well, good one. Well, that's a different one. That's from, that's my, that's the line from One Who Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. I was just talking about that individual movie. Yeah. Well, Cuckoo's Nest, Nick, Nicholson doesn't have my favorite line of Cuckoo's Nest. You want to know what my favorite line of Cuckoo's Nest is? Do you know it? Can you guess I it? I want my yeah. cigarettes! I want my, my cigarettes! cigarettes. Uh, it's just every single time I hear cigarettes or want a cigarette, that yeah. instantly pops into my brain. <laughs> and I can't have to hold myself back. Just like, don't I don't it. want his cigarettes or his cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, spin again. I guess I, I guess. I'm, I'm dominating these right now with my impression. Okay. Wheel of insanity. Turn, turn, turn. Tell us a lesson that we should learn. Oh. Daniel Day-Lewis as... Batman. Batman? I'm a Batman. <laughs> this is my assistant. His name is Robin. And he will follow me around. And, and we're, we're going to take care of the crime in this city. We're going to take care of the Joker. And... <laughs> oh my gosh, next Batman movie needs to have Daniel Day-Lewis in it. Doing his... Um, their... the brother, I, I solve his crimes often. I'm very good at it. <laughs> okay. I went right for that one, okay? I didn't even hesitate. I'm like, this is gonna yeah. fit. Okay, no, you did it, all right. Thank you. I'm a Batman. <laughs> My name is... That's the only, like, iconic um, Daniel Day-Lewis line I can think of. I'm sure there's one in Gangs of I New York. drink your milkshake? Oh, shit. How could you make that Batman? Hmm. My... <laughs> My back cave goes all the way from over here. <laughs> <laughs> Underneath <good> your lair. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so that was one, two, three, four. Four. That yeah. was four? Mm-hmm. So I only have to do one more. Yeah, or eat a bean. Should have just done that instead of Hillary. <laughs> Please 
present your cheek, sir. <laughs> I took one slap. Oh, did it? Why did it get two? <laughs> oh, oh, my bad. I'm so sorry. I misread that. Oh, I got a red face. Abuse right here. Abuse. You said I could. You consented. No, don't try to see that. It's really, really And now it's a CK slap. slap. You gotta go slap Louis CK. <laughs> can I do the slap again? I feel like I could have done no, that a you lot can't. better. Nope. Can we edit it out? And then I just want to... I'm surprised it. you didn't take a bean for that one. I would have if it was for you. Just shows No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would have. Okay, can I make it up to you? No. But I bought Oreos. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right, well, let's talk about the Oreos. Okay. So, we were at Target, and we saw these And Oreos. we missed! <laughs> it's a Mitch Hedberg joke. <sighs> okay. Um, it's better when he says it. <laughs> so, we got these, and apparently, if you guess the flavor, you can win a chance, win a chance to win... $50,000. Or $10,000. So, Is I read like the runner up? What do you say? Is that like runner-up prize? Yeah, it's runner-up prize. All right, so no, I love... ten thousand dollars is the big cleanse the palate. Probably. They smell like fruity pebbles. All right. If these are fruity, if these are banana, I'm gonna be really upset. Why do you think they're banana? Because I the 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 white airheads are banana. <laughs> so that means white. Yeah, exactly. Mystery Oreos or banana? Alright, let's see. Are you? I think they taste like fruity pebbles. It's fruity pebbles. 